Hi friends, welcome to WebChamp. In this video, I'm going to discuss how you can make the connections with the Power BI reports, which are uh, already published on the service. So how you can access the data from Power BI service, right? So let's say someone has published uh, reports on the service. So there are two types of workspaces. There is something called fabric workspace and there is something called pro workspace. Meaning that this, this is about the licensing uh, of workspace. So if your workspace has a fabric license, you will be able to access the data sets in either in import mode or in a live connection. So if your workspace is a pro, okay, let's say I would like to access this. Okay. So you won't be able to import the data uh, into your Power BI, but yes, what you can do is you can use this uh, model, semantic model as your data set to build the reports. So what you can do is you can go to the get data and then you can select the Power BI semantic models. And uh, from this, you can select this and you, you will simply say connect. Okay, so what it will does, it will, uh, bring the table and uh, column information into the this report this is your live connection if you are your workspace is a pro or your workspace has a license pro license in that case you will be able to make the connection with the power bi data sets which are on published on the service as a live connect only there is no other way but let's say i wanted to import this data okay so in that case what you need is you must have the fabric workspace okay so if you come to that fabric workspace so there are a, there is a way to get the access meaning indirectly the, we will use apis to connect with this and since uh, power bi service is nothing but analysis service okay. so how to get the link to make the connection with this fabric workspace so go to the Workspace setting inside a workspace setting, there is something called license info. From the license info, you can copy this. Okay, fine. Now, here again for this, I'll use another file to make the connection. Okay, so I'm not going to use this because since we already made the connection, that file. Okay, so now let me go and select as i said the power bi service is nothing but analysis service as your analysis or sql server analysis service you can say so i will uh, select so there are two types of connectors both will work similarly okay so if i search analysis so you can see that sql server analysis service and azure analysis service. both the connectors are same there is nothing different and uh, you can use any one of these okay so let me use this azure uh, analysis service database as a connector to import the data. Okay. So now here I'll use his, is my server. Okay. So whatever the link you copied uh, from the workspace license info. So this is your service analysis service server link, server link. Okay. Or we can just server address. Okay. So here by using this, what you can do, you can make the direct uh, connection the way we have connected earlier, or you can import the data in pro workspace. You will not get the date uh, import option to load, import the data into your Power BI. After that, what you can do is you can write the MDAX query or DAX query. That is optional. If you want to define, you can define. Otherwise, it's not, not required. Okay. So if you come to the workspace, okay. So I have published this report. Sales report uh, is my. data set that i would like to access okay for even the name for the semantic model is sales report this will become your database name to make the connection okay so here i'll go to this and if you want to specify you can specify otherwise you you, you can skip this also this is again optional okay so if you know the report name you can specify otherwise not required Great, then let's wait until it makes the connection. So obviously you might need to 
uh, select the user account for it or you okay in my case it is not asking but in if it pop ups for the connections you can select microsoft account and then you can select your microsoft account okay fine so inside a model so this is a server this is a model inside the model that there is something called again one more model which will have the n number of tables okay so this will show you the list of tables okay so don't uh, import all the tables in the same time it will not uh, import like uh, table wise then what it does it will combine and it will uh, import all the column or meaning all the columns from all the tables okay to avoid this um, obviously you will not get the proper data so just select only one table and load this table then you can rename again you can make the connection and you can change the model okay so let me say transform data Okay, I'm going to the query data. So we are loading the data for the customer. Okay. So this will, what it does, it will uh, load the data. You can see the query also in query. If I go to the advanced editor, you can see that first it has made the connection with the analysis service dot databases. This is my, my, uh, This is what the link that I used, right? Then uh, this is the report name that he wants to access. Then model one is again another variable. Their source ID is equal to model from that data is extracted. So this is the uh, script. If you are able to understand, that is fine. If, if you are not able to understand, th that is again fine. Okay. So this is not required. But if you want to edit, if you want to make the changes you will be able to make the changes from here also. Okay, so we are reading all the columns. I don't need all of you. I can remove the columns from this. Okay, or if you, you, you are good to remove the columns from the query data also, right? So this is the one way. So this is the data for the customer, right? This is the data for the customer. So now if I go to the query editor, so from model, model, model two, and we what we ex extracted is deem customer, right? What we extracted is a deem customer and these many columns, right? So similarly, uh, you can import the data for other uh, tables also. So I will use the same connection. Then I'll say import since uh, one data set is imported, you cannot use the live connection anymore. If you want to specify this tax and all. DAX or MDS query that is fine in case if you are not able to specify it will get generated through the query editor only. Okay, so in this case, see, I did not specify the, the database name. That's why these many uh, things are come meaning so this is again uh, one kind of uh, model model. This is again, no, this is a lake house, but yes, this is again semantic model in my workspace if I go inside a lake house there is something called a semantic model this is a default right even for this this is default for this this is a default so if all the semantic models i'm able to access as an um, analysis service database so let me uh, cancel this and what i will do is i will go to the analysis service connector once again here and i will specify the name just to avoid one state okay here again inside the model you are supposed to select only one table don't select multiple tables it will load all the columns in the single table that's what i don't want right so here i'll select dim product instead of this i'll select uh, fact cells this is fine and i'll say okay automatically it will generate the query for me it will write the mdx uh, or dax query for me so fact cells, this is what my table name. If I go to the view and if I open this, so what is your MDX? So your MDX comes in a picture here. Okay. 
to implementation 2.0 type measure. all these parameters are coming automatically you need not to worry if you don't know how to edit how to use the index and all still you are able to make the connection with the service and uh, i believe this way to import the data from the power bi service into power bi desktop file is going to help us to do a, a it go, is going to help us to build a report by using import mode connection you can build the report using live connection but the problem is that if you use the live connection you won't be able to edit that model you you are supposed to use the same model as it is but if you import the data you can build you can create your own model if you want to add some other data sets to this you will be able to but in live connection you won't be able to so this is a very good approach to import the data if you want to customize the model for yourself i hope you like the content of this video thank you so much for watching the video have a nice day